Hi, my name is Andrew D'Ambrosi, and we're at Bergen Hill. And today, for Fork and Plate, we'll be producing a dish called the KFB, Kentucky Fried Blowfish. So first, we have our blowfish tails. They've been marinated in uh, buttermilk brine with lemon and dill, and garlic, of course. And this is our seasoned flour, flour, a little bit of cumin, coriander, black pepper. It more or less tastes like KFC. Now, one of the main problems I see with people making fried anything, there's a technique when you drop them in the flour, which most people miss, and this is absolutely essential, is that you squeeze and try to crush, not too much, you wanna to try to crush and get the liquid from the, whatever the product may be, inside, so you get like these nice little crispy flakes. The liquid will come out and slowly absorb and create these little ripples. And when you fry them, that's when they taste super delicious. You can even hear the bones cracking when you do it, it's pretty exciting. You wanna give them a little shake out. And then in this oil here, it's at 325, I suggest you fry it between 325 and 350 and you just simply drop them in. Again, shake out any excess that you have, and those are gonna go for about three minutes maximum. And so now we're gonna compose the salad, which is shaved fennel, market cherry tomatoes, pickled cherries, a little bit of mint, and the vinaigrette is going to be made from honey and red wine vinegar. Hit it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of parsley for color. Just give it a light toss. We all know how to toss salads here. Our blowfish are ready, so I'll be taking them out of the oil now. So all those little crispy ripples you see, that's going to provide that awesome crunch that you get from proper fried chicken. I'm going to season a little bit with salt because everything needs more salt all the time, forever. So this is a corn puree, literally just corn made with corn stock, which is basically just taking the corn husks and cobs and cooking them out in water. Place the salad daintily across the corn puree. Now we're going to just place our little magical blowfish tails across the salad. And for the finisher, because no fried chicken or fried blowfish is complete without some kind of hot sauce. So this is a scotch bonnet honey, which is literally just scotch bonnet, vinegar, honey, cooked down back to its original awesomeness. And we're just going to put a couple dollops on the plate because it's extremely hot. I know people appreciate a good hot sauce, but everything in moderation, including moderation, this hot sauce burns. And there you have it, KFB, Kentucky Fried Blowfish. Hi, my name is Andrew D'Ambrosi, and we're at Bergen Hill, and today... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Andrew D'Ambrosi, and we're at Bergen Hill, and we will be... Damn it, again. <laughs> Fork you, you better be knife to me, or I'm leaving Spoon. Yeah, I just made that up. I've never said that before in my entire life. And there you have it, buttermilk fried blowfish tails help <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs>